All right, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to a uh, kind of a busy Friday. Just got through doing the update. Ho hopefully, you guys checked it out. A lot of earthquake activity in the Philippines. Now, another big earthquake, a 7.3 earthquake coming into the Drake Passage area down there off the tip of South America. Look at that, 7.3 earthquake. This is by the EMSC. Uh, I don't see anything showing up yet from the USGS. I'm um, looking for signs of it on the seismograph stations there. I do see it uh, showing up there on the Chile station, it looks like. Uh, let's see if the Tsunami Warning Center has anything on this earthquake because it's, uh, man, it's been a la last couple days have been crazy. Nothing yet from the U.S. sources. So as of right now, this earthquake activity is uh, coming from the EMSC, which should show up here on the globe. Let's refresh this, make sure we got the latest data. Uh, which it's not showing up yet. I'm surprised. Because uh, I do have a combination there of EMSC and USGS. But it is officially here on their site showing a 7.3 earthquake. Now, this area, oh, man, a couple months back had a very similar earthquake. I believe it was around a 7.3 and a 7.4 magnitude range there. So uh, something big is going on down here across the... Uh, the area uh, and today specifically all the earthquake activity happening all over the Philippines uh, big movement in Papua New Guinea of course the recent 8.8 .8 up in uh, Kamchatka area everywhere is moving except for the West Coast watching this area closely here folks I mean the more the plates move around the highly likelihood that we'll see some larger activity out here along the West Coast now I'm still waiting here for the latest data uh, to come in uh, EMSC not issuing there there whoa that's 7.8 holy moly that's a near eight pointer you guys see that so it's been upgraded it looks like to a 7.8 quake which uh, that is bigger than the quake that struck out here a couple months ago in that same region let's see is that from the USGS or the uh, yeah so that there we go. That's weird. So why do I have to go to the seven days magnitude 2.5 and it doesn't show now it shows up here. Okay. I don't know. Something weird going on out here. And a, a lot of it revolves around all the elevated earthquake activity happening right now. So there's that 7.8 earthquake. That uh, would be the second largest earthquake so far this year. That would, I believe if I'm doing my numbers right here, there's in a decent amount so far this year uh, is a 7.8 now let's check out the tsunami statement here real quick see what we got there is currently a tsunami threat um, hold on a second here let's see what they're stating here down across the Drake's Passage area uh, we need to go to the uh, this one right here. So an earthquake with a preliminary data magnitude of 7.8 occurred uh, based on preliminary earthquake parameters. Hazardous tsunami waves are possible for coasts located within 1,000 kilometers. So we're talking about Chile area. Heads up. Uh, looks like they did issue a tsunami threat for Chile. Let me check out the rest of the area here. We got an informational statement here for Hawaii. Uh, right now, based on all available data, a destructive Pacific wide tsunami is not expected. Once again, that's coming off of a 7.8 earthquake there in the Drake's Passage region, south of South America. That's a pretty big earthquake. There we go. We're starting to see some of those waves kicking in, in now. Uh, the per poor Earth, man, ringing like a bell. How many large events have we had here in the last 24 hours? Uh, quite a bit here. Man. Here's all the significant events here in the last 30 days. Look at all that. That's crazy amount of earthquake activity. Okay, so it looks like the 7.8 today, that just happened a few minutes ago, ties for the 7.8 aftershock there in Russia uh, earlier back in September. 16 earthquakes of significant magnitudes there, including a couple in the, you know, populated areas of California. But that is crazy. So as of right now, folks, tsunami threat being issued here 
by the tsunami.gov website uh, for the uh, coast there of Chile, South America area. Let's see if there's anything for the East Coast. Uh, there is no tsunami danger there for the U.S. East Coast, the Gulf of America states, <laughs> Gulf of America, or the Eastern. I'm just reading what they're stating here, folks, okay? Uh, or the Eastern Coast of Canada. And it looks like this tsunami uh, or this uh, magnitude will stand there. Let's see if it's been reviewed. Uh, it has been reviewed by a seismologist. So that's a pretty big earthquake. Uh, more than likely it did produce a tsunami. That's way down there. So some of these other stations here that, that are at a distance will pick it up a little bit later. New Zealand actually picked up that 6.8 or that 7.8. Excuse me. See that? Philippines, uh, hard to say. That may be another local quake there across the Philippines. All I know, folks, is we got activity ramping up all around the area right now. Watch the West Coast. Watch these areas that are well overdue for some earthquake activity. I'm talking about the Cascadia down to Southern California. New Zealand could be on the hot spot as well. That's got a lot of potential across many different areas of New Zealand that have had a lot of time built up for some significant movement uh, to take place here soon. Watch the Nankai Trough. There's a lot going on out here. And when things are on the uptick, that's when we need to be on guard across these quiet zones. Uh, I will cover this and more. Pending, I get a little break in between the earthquake activity here uh, for the Friday night update. But that's, uh, man, I tell you what, that's a, a lot of earthquake activity. I do want to quick check here that other magnitude that struck earlier this year just going to go back here and draw a little area down across this area where that odd earthquake struck and i say it's odd because it's off of the plate boundary oh yeah see it struck literally right in the same spot as that 7.5 struck back in august 21st of this year so now we got a bigger earthquake larger magnitude and if you look here on the oceanic crust map the plate boundary goes right here technically it should extend that way uh, it's not listed here on the map but there's a fracture boundary this earthquake occurred literally like underneath this area where there's no fracture zones so what's going on down here hopefully it's not some type of super volcano out there in, in the uh down in that area you just never know i mean there's still a lot that we don't know about um, may find out soon here, but that's a, uh, decent size event striking where the 7.5 struck there, uh, back in August. Now the largest event. Crazy. All right. Uh, once again, I'll, I'll cover this and more in tonight's update pending. I can get a little bit of a break here. I got a few things I got to mail, so I have to go to the post office real quick. Um, if anything happens, I'll rush back here to uh provide an update but be on guard i'm telling you everything's moving around here the plates are in a shuffle and when they're in the shuffle that's when bad things can happen right say for example you're late for work you're trying to get stuff done you you're rushing through the door you forgot to do this forgot to do that your your sleeve catches on the door handle you know those are just minimal things for us humans but when the plates shuffle around here we got to be on guard out here for some decent size activity across the west coast and other areas all right, just letting you know, I'm prepared. Hopefully, you guys are too. We'll catch you guys out here a little bit later on uh, this evening. Uh, in the meantime, watch the uh, watch the Earth out here ring like a bell from this 7.8. Uh, 